Hi, I'm Steph Gongra, and welcome to the Full Body Backbends Plan. Today's class is all about keeping the side body long. You'll need a few props to make the most of today's flow. A block and a strap would be really helpful. Erin is here demonstrating some variations and modifications for us. So gather what you need, and I'll meet you on the mat. We'll be getting started today in Vadrasana, knees together, feet together. If you'd like to sit on a block, feel free to do so, just to make yourself a little bit more comfortable here as we relax and settle into our space. Taking our hands to our thighs and just closing our eyes, thinking length through the crown of the head and grounding down through the sit bones, whether that's into our heels or into the block. A gentle toning of the outer hips, so hugging of the sit bones towards the midline, It'll help us find a little bit more length, dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. Neck is long, sides of the ribs are long. And just taking a moment to settle, to sweetly enter our practice. Be flowing through a variety of side body opening and lengthening postures today. Sometimes going slow, sometimes bringing a little bit of movement and hydration and circulation into the flow. And just really focusing on finding that space. So many times in back bends and heart opening postures, we forget about the importance of the side body. Taking our hands to our low ribs here. So thumbs come behind our back, fingers come in front of our body. A gentle tuck of the tailbone here to set the pelvis. Tone the navel in and up and begin to gently constrict the throat as you elongate the inhales and the exhales. And you might notice as, as you inhale, if you keep a tone of the navel, your ribs actually open up towards the side like an accordion. And as you exhale, they close slightly towards the midline. It's that hugging in and up of the navel that's going to allow that opening as the diaphragm spreads out opening the ribs on that inhale, shrinking them back down to the midline on the exhale. Keep following that breath, warming it at the back of the throat with the slight constriction. Following that accordion-like motion of the ribs. Take one more full round of breath like this. And then release your hands down to your thighs and blink your eyes open. Next inhale, sweeps your arms up overhead. Take your right hand and grab your left wrist and begin to pull your left wrist up and over towards the right. So a gentle half moon stretch here. Arc your sternum and your heart lightly up towards the sky. Ground down evenly through both sit bones and hug your sit bones gently towards the midline. Length along the left side body here. Release the wrist, come back up to center. Inhale, reaches the arms high. And as you exhale, use your left hand, grab your right wrist and pull it gently over towards the left. Ground down firmly through your sit bones. Keep the tuck of the tail. Lift the sternum up towards the ceiling. Carefully release, bring your hands down towards your thighs. I want you to think about your mat like a clock. So in front of you would be 12, behind you is six, over to your right is three and nine. We're gonna aim for about 130 this first round, which is the top right corner of your mat. So inhale, sweeps the arms up. As you exhale, hug your navel towards your spine, spin your upper body towards that top right corner. Take the hands down, walk them forward, bringing low belly to or towards your thighs. If the left sit bone has grown a little bit light, push your right hand down and away from you to ground down through the hips a little bit more. Keep that motion as you spider the left fingertips out just a little bit further. Deep stretch along the left side body. Carefully walk your hands back towards center. Next inhale sweeps your arms up. Exhale, navel to spine, turn to the top left corner of your mat, so about 10.30 on your clock. Walk your fingertips down in front of you, low belly towards thighs. Push your left hand down and away from you, ground down a little bit more firmly through that right sit bone. 
or maybe it just drips closer to your heel, spider your right fingertips out in front of you. Feel that deep stretch along the whole outside right portion of the arm, the armpit, and the ribs, perhaps even down into the outer hip on the right side. Carefully walk your hands back towards center. This time we'll be aiming for three o'clock. Inhale, sweeps your arms up. Exhale, hug your navel in and up. Spin over towards three on the clock. So over to the right, bring your fingertips down. Walk your hands out in front of you. Now this time you may not get all the way down and your left hip will almost certainly lift. That's fine. Push the right hand down and away from you. Keep that spider your left fingertips out. Breathing into the space at the back of your heart. You can stay here or back your hands up slightly. Hug your navel in and up to create space and spin even more to the right, hooking your left elbow to the outer edge of your right knee. Here you can reach back with the left hand, grab your right heel or even the edge of your mat and spider your right fingertips up towards 12. Once they're there, push down and away and arc your sternum up towards the sky. Carefully release. Next inhale sweeps you up. And as you exhale, pull your navel in and up, turn towards nine o'clock on your clock, bring your hands down, walk them forward, low belly comes towards thighs. Pushing your left hand down and away from you, walk your right fingertips out just a little bit further. Stay here or back out of this slightly. Pivot the body even more to the left. Hook the outer edge of the right elbow to the left knee. Maybe reach back with the right hand for the left heel and then spider those left fingertips towards 12 o'clock, pushing down and away, begin to arc the sternum up towards the sky. Deep stretch for the right shoulder as well as the left side body. Carefully release, unwind wherever you are, and make your way into tabletop. Shoulders over the wrist here, hips over the knees, wing your elbows wide, and then wrap them towards the back of the mat, keeping a micro bend here. So as if you're hugging an imaginary block between your forearms, really rooting down through the inner edges of your hand. Extend your right leg back behind you, your left arm out in front of you. Reach long through the left fingertips and the right toes. Then take your left arm out to the side, right leg out to the side, flex your right toes. Carefully lower your right foot so the toes face forward. Lower your left hand. Inhale, pulls your heart through your biceps, cow pose. Exhale, push down and away, puff up the back of the heart, push down so much that you can lift the fingertips off the ground and come up onto your right foot and left shin. Inhale, sweeps the arms up overhead. And as you exhale, tilt it on over towards the right here. So this is a hovering gate pose. Really grounding down firmly through the right foot, reaching long through both hands here. Even here, arcing the sternum gently up towards the sky, pushing the back of the head back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Carefully come back to center and bring your hands back down towards the mat. Pull your right foot in, coming back to tabletop position. Grounding down firmly here again. Extend your right arm and your left leg long, sunbird. Reach long through those right fingertips and out through those left toes. And then take the right hand out to the right, left leg out to the left. Carefully lower your left toes and your right hand. Inhale, pulls your heart through your biceps. Exhale, push down and away, puff up the back of the heart so much so you can use the power of the core to lift your body off the ground, coming onto right shin and left foot. Inhale, sweeps your arms up. And as you exhale, tilt it on over to the left, side body stretch, hovering gate pose. Arc the sternum up towards the sky as you squeeze the shoulder blades gently together onto your back. Carefully release, bring your hands back to the mat and pull your left leg back into tabletop position. Push your hands down and away from you, tuck your toes, hover your knees off the mat and send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Take a minute here in your down dog to pedal it out. 
bending one or both knees as much as you need to. And then finding some stillness here, keeping a gentle bend in the knees, widening the sit bones out and back. Length from the hands pressing into the earth, back out through the sit bones. Spine is long, side body is long. Rooting down to the inner edges of the hand. Inhale, lift your right leg straight and strong. Bend the knee, open up the hip. High up under those left tippy toes, spin to the outer edge of the left foot. Bend the left leg enough so you can plant the whole sole of the left foot. So nice firm bend here. Maybe your right fingertips grow high. Maybe right arm reaches up towards the sky. Vashistasana variation, right arm, right knee high. Take your hand to your right knee, close your hip, and begin to guide your right leg towards the top of the mat, coming up high into those left toes as you do so, puffing up through the back of the heart. Moving as slow as you can, you can take your hand under your thigh if that's helpful. Carefully framing your right foot, lowering that back knee, untucking the toes, and just gently rocking back and forth here to lubricate the hip. Take your right hand to your right knee and use it to push your low belly away from your thigh as you come up. Keeping your hands on your right thigh, use the strength of your left hamstring to curl that heel in towards the sit bone, flex the foot. Reach back with your left hand, grab the outer edge of your foot or your ankle. Resquare your shoulders towards the front of the mat, quad stretch. So keep the square of the hips as you lunge forward, pulling the heel in towards the sit bone. Now you can stay here or challenge your balance by reaching the right hand back behind you and grabbing the inner edge of that left ankle. Tucking the tailbone lightly here to keep the side of the low back. Carefully release without slingshotting your foot towards the ground. Tuck the back toes. Really root down, pull the right heel in towards the back leg as you lift the left knee. Inhale, sweeps the arms up overhead, crescent pose. Bend the back knee enough to tuck the tailbone and send this stretch into the left hip flexor and left quad. And the next inhale opens you up towards the side. Warrior two, heel to arch alignment here. Arms reach out long. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Gaze is over the right middle finger. Inhale, pulls you forward. Exhale, tip it on back to reverse warrior, but hover your back arm if you can here. So using the strength of your side body and your core to help you find this activation. Come on back up to warrior two. Begin to straighten the front leg here. Reach it forward with the right arm. Long. And then turn the palm up towards the sky as you pull the left arm over to meet it. Hovering triangle. So shoulders and hips are open towards the left side of the mat here. Engage the right quad. Use the strength of the side body to help you find this lift. Carefully come back up. Warrior two. And then turn both feet towards the left edge of your mat, prepping for goddess pose, bending deeply into the knees, hips sink down low. Take your hands behind your head, basket them, elbows out wide. Inhale, grows you tall through the crown of the head, gentle tuck of the tailbone. Exhale, bring your right elbow towards your right knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tip it the other way, left elbow, left knee. Inhale, lift. Exhale, right. Inhale, lift, exhale, left. Inhale, lift, exhale, right. Inhale, lift, exhale, left. Inhale, one more on each side, moving with your own breath. As you make your way back to center, begin to straighten your legs, release your hands, pivot towards the top of the mat, crescent pose, bring your hands down to frame your right foot and step it back to plank. Send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifts the left leg. Bend the knee, open up the hip. High up under those right tippy toes, spin to the outer edge of the right foot. Bend the knee firmly so that you can plant the whole sole of the foot. Left fingertips grow light. Left arm, left knee high, Vashistasana variation here. Take your left hand to your left knee, close the hip, and begin to guide your left foot towards the top of the mat. 
Moving slowly, catting the spine, puffing up through the back of the heart as you get there. We'll meet by framing our left foot, lowering our right knee, untucking the toes here, and lubricating the hip joint by rocking back and forth. Take your left hand to your knee, gently prop yourself up. Tuck the tailbone to send the stretch to the right quad. Curl the right heel in towards the sit bone. Reach back with the right hand. Grab the outer edge of the right ankle. Square the shoulders towards the front of the mat. Stay here or challenge your balance by reaching back with the left arm to grab the inner edge of the right ankle. Again, push the back of your skull back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep this out of the low back with that gentle tuck of the tailbone as you lunge forward to stretch your quad. Carefully release without slingshotting your foot. Tuck those back toes, root down through that left heel and pull it towards your right knee as you begin to pick the right leg up, sweep the arms up, crescent pose. Generous bend into that right knee here so we can tuck the tailbone. Reaching long through the fingertips. On your next inhale, open yourself up to the right side of your mat, warrior two. Generous bend into your left knee, heel to arch alignment. Stretch long through the fingertips. Inhale, reaches you forward. Exhale, tip it on back, hovering reverse warrior. Using the strength of the side body. Next inhale, lifts you back up, warrior two. Straighten the front leg. You can walk your back foot in a little bit if that's comfortable for you. We're prepping for triangle pose. Inhale, tilts you forward, palm faces up. Bring the right arm over top of your ear to meet it. Spiral your upper body over towards the right and up. Engage your left quad. Carefully make your way back, warrior two. Pivot both feet towards the right edge of your mat, coming back to goddess pose here. Inhale, brings your arms up over your head. And as you exhale, drop your right arm down by your right side, tilt your body over to the right, maybe tapping your right fingertips to or towards the ground. Inhale, sweeps you back up. Exhale, drop the left arm, sweep it over to the left. Inhale up, one more time on each side. Right arm drops, left arm reaches over, side body long. Inhale up. Exhale, left arm reaches down, right arm reaches over. Coming back up. Pivot towards the front of the mat, crescent pose. Take your hands down to frame your left foot. Step back, plank pose. Send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. <laughs> 